We are back at it with some more MX Sim. We are currently on Jay Reed's Trackworks compound. This thing came out a long time ago, uh, back in January. Uh, this place is pretty sick though. So far, it's pretty sick. I've only been on the motocross track. There's one motocross track, there's a sand track, and there's three supercross tracks. So what I'm gonna be doing, just like how I kind of told you guys with the Hubbard compound, we're gonna be making videos on each dude, separate track. Each mix messed me up, dude. 100% <laughs> just messed my whole concentration up right now. But we're gonna make separate videos on each thing. So for example, right now we're gonna be doing the MX track. We have like a, a four lap race going on right now on my server. So uh, we got the new kit on finally. I was just actually saying this to the boys that I gotta switch up the kit because we've been rocking kind of that blue one for a little bit, but. Um, but anyways, motocross just finished. Millville just came to an end a little bit ago. And let me tell you, it was a wild thing. It was wild. I really thought Chase was going to take the W today. I even said it in, I said it when the races started. I said I had Chase and Jay Coop for the win. It did not work out that way at, at all in my favor. But it was pretty close. Chase was there in the first moto. And then in the second moto, he got whole shot and we were hyped as hell. Uh, we'll have a yeah, reaction video. Hyped. I was hyped. I was like, let's go. We'll have a reaction video for that um, this week, sometime this week, maybe even tomorrow, because got it. We got to post the good content first, you know, and then the later content second. But no, we were hyped for Chase, and then it all came crashing down in the third corner, maybe fourth corner, the the right sand corner. The yeah, right after the rollers when he slid out a little bit, it all came crashing down. Um, all of our hype went down the hill, and Jet was basically taken off. Chase also did crash. I think he, I, I'm going to say he tweaked his bars with that crash a little bit with his front end. I'm going to say it because he did not push at all. Maybe he kind of hurt his shoulder. I know he landed on his shoulder a little bit. Maybe he hurt his shoulder. But regardless, I think Chase put up a great fight in the first moto. Crashing, doing a whole 360. Like, he did a whole 360 and almost came back to beat Jet, which was pretty sick. It was a great battle all the way to the end. Second moto. I mean, unfortunate for him, right? Unfortunate. Um, and then the rest of the second moto is kind of just um, time to go get food. You know what I'm saying? Type. It was really just jet 15 seconds. Nobody else really battling. Dylan and uh, AP had a great race, though. They had a great battle going all the way to the end, which was kind of cool to watch. And then the broadcast really didn't show, like, if I'm thinking back, the broadcast really didn't show any battles, like, um, like any <laughs> privateer battles or anything to like that. I know Jason Anderson crashed out super hard with Henry Miller, so I hope all those guys are good with Shane Malkaraf. I hope all those guys are uh, good because that looked like a nasty fall in the rollers. A nasty, nasty fall. I know Mix was here watching it with me, and then he disappeared in the 450 race. Yeah, I was bored. I went and fucking... <laughs> oh, I went and laid in my bed. Yeah, he'd probably go take a nap or something. That was. I just started playing a set man. <laughs> it was boring. Yeah, the, the, like the 450 after like Chase kind of crashed out a little bit. Not crashed out, but crashed. It was just, it was honestly just like watching Jet cruise to victory, really. I mean, it's still greatness. It's still watching greatness and Jet's doing something crazy. But um, as I think everybody online is going to say, it was kind of boring. Um, you know what it's like? what it's, it's like, like f1 max verstappen winning and nobody else having a, having a shot yeah it's basically what yeah. it is that's literally if you compare their seasons it's basically the same for the 450 i'm pretty sure like because max always gets pole jet always gets uh uh what is it called um top qualifier so i mean if you actually really compare their seasons it's actually pretty insane how close they are but then you drop down to the 250 class 250 class first moto was wild i think it, going on the f1 theme here in the first like 15 minutes of the race, as Mix actually pointed this out, it was like a DRS zone. Everybody, like top seven was all in one straightaway. So that was kind of funny, like the how it can compare and contrast it, you know? Uh, shout out to Mix for that because he actually thought about something smart, you know? Um, yeah, bro. <laughs> big brain right here. <laughs> big, big brain. But no, the 251st moto, um, Hunter started around like eighth or ninth, right? Something around there. Worked his worked all the way up to first beat Joe in the first moto, which was kind of crazy. Uh, I didn't think Hunter was gonna be able to catch Joe, but he most certainly did. Maybe Joe ran out a little steam towards the end, but regardless, first moto was awesome to watch. Really, really awesome battles between everybody in the top top what seven I I would say. Deegan and Shmoda pulled out the whole shot. 
And then it was kind of just like a, a frenzy of just everybody going and trying to pass each other and uh, battling. It was awesome. First moto was awesome. Second moto, I mean, Hunter pulled whole shot and it was kind of just a Hunter race all the way towards the end where he crashed with lappers, I guess. Like there's no, uh, I haven't seen footage. So if you guys have seen footage of it, let me know. But supposedly there was like a, a train of lappers in front of him and he went down with one of them or something like that um which was surprising i think everybody got kind of got caught off guard because even cooper was like looking back he was constantly looking back and like what's happening you know which was kind of weird because that happened with like two laps left and shimoda actually almost caught him which if shimoda caught him joe would actually got the overall i'm pretty sure he would have went 2-2 and then hunter would have went oh hunter would have still went 1-3 so i don't really think it mattered because Hunter would have still got the overall with the first place in that first moto. But regardless, second moto is kind of similar to 450 second moto. Kind of just everybody was kind of spaced out. There was not really battles on the track. Um, and towards like the final end where Jay Coop kind of got around Hunter with the mistake. But uh, overall, what did you guys think? Spring Creek, what did you guys think? I think it was another Lawrence dominating day. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's pretty much accurate. I thought the track was pretty good. I really liked the, the triples going up the hill. I thought that actually showed like a difference of riding technique uh, because a lot of the 250 yeah. guys were like scrubbing it where some of them were tripling it and catching the people. Uh, for example, I think Deegan in the first yeah. moto was the only one tripling up. So I, I noticed that and he was, he was right in front of Tommy V, which it gapped him every single lap for tommy v to catch him tommy would catch him everywhere else and then as soon as deegan hit the triple up the hill it would give him like that second uh which kind of like separated the gap for the end of the race but overall i think you guys are right on the right on the head it was a lawrence dominating day but regardless i think it's going to be a great end of the season i, I really do the last four races are going to be wild i think it's going to be very very good i think hunter might still dominate I i'm going to say that i really think hunter might still dominate but I think it's going to be a great a great rest of the season as even in 450 i think chase going in that first moto trying to trying to establish like he can actually race with jet uh, i think the last four weeks are going to be interesting especially after the mini break where chase can actually put down put down like a week of just solid practice you know that's just my opinion though honestly uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments there's some other news too that happened uh what a couple days ago i guess now uh it's saturday saturday night now but like i think on friday um they fixed the servers for call of duty back in the day call of duty i don't know if anybody used to play modern warfare 2 or black ops 2 or black ops 1 mw3 but supposedly on console you can play those and find a server instantly i'm kind of interested in playing it i'm not gonna lie with you guys i i think even mix said he'll do it with me because he has an xbox what? i'm pretty sure that's the opposite of what i said you said you would try it no don't lie to me. That's, that's false. Don't lie to you're me. Lying, you're lying to me. Don't no. Nah, you said, oh, dude, I would love to try that. Let me just, uh, let me. Uh, uh, just I don't even have a headset for my <laughs> Xbox. Why would you need a headset? You just, oh, I guess you wouldn't need a headset. Right? I need to hear the people <laughs> camping in the corners. Nah, you could just play with no volume. No, nah, but anyways, uh, I think that's pretty interesting. If you guys have ever played those games, let me know. Like back in the day, um, I'm pretty interested in trying them out. Maybe making like a, a a funny video on it on the play channel i think that'd be kind of cool this might be not in the video but did anybody see the the boxing event that <laughs> happened uh the female yeah, boxer that yeah. flashed the whole freaking crowd and live television anybody see that i mean that's kind of wild i mean i didn't that's a w event right there <laughs> it makes <laughs> it like that's the only action i'm getting man but no i mean i think that was pretty wild He's definitely, definitely salivating over that video. Oh, 100%. He's a boxer, not uh, boxing oh. fan now. <laughs> 100%. I don't know what track. We'll probably do the sand track next for next uh, time we're on this compound for a video. This compound, this track's actually pretty sick. I want, okay, so we could say this. I wanted to do this track called DBMX. I thought it was pretty sick. And everybody was like, dude, that's so lame. Why would we do that? Hey, I thought yeah, it was pretty sick. that track was better than this. Uh, no. But it was still pretty good. I thought it was pretty good. We want to make a segment. I don't know if I'll do a video, like a full video on it, but we want to have a segment inside a video kind of talking about uh, the best track of the week. And so there's like five or six tracks that we kind of rode 
I would say we kind of rode this week, and that was Keegum's uh, Spring Creek that dropped, like the Pro Tracks. There was also LMX, and then 317, um, and then DBMX. I think, personally, there's probably some other tracks, too, that we I didn't get to. Uh, I just tested those tracks out. I think, personally, besides the Pro Tracks, I think DBMX was the best one. The Sand Track, the Moto Sandbox one. And if I had to pick a pro track, it would probably be... Now that I'm pretty good at Spring Creek, it would probably be Spring Creek. But I love Keegums too because I love the sand. I don't know. That's just me though. Uh, Mix, what is yours? Keegums. Keegums, okay. Um, Spring Creek for you, David. Cass, what is yours? Ah, uh, crap. Spring Creek. I had my fastest lap ever on Spring Creek yesterday. 226.7. Which is kind of funny because David has been trying to put hot laps down on Spring Creek to beat it. And he got as close as 226.8. So we still have that. Hopefully we can set another fast lap for next week on the next track. I'm pretty sure the MXGP track comes out tomorrow. If I'm not mistaken. I can't mistaken. wait for Washougal though. That's track could, for like sim or real life? Sim. Oh yeah, both. I think. I mean both are going to be fire. Yeah, what, what should go is always sick on sim. We also just posted a track link for 2017 Glen Helen, I believe. Um, they said that was probably like the pinnacle of MX Sim Racing. So we're going to try that out in one of these videos. Um, if you guys think that track is awesome, let me know in the comments because... Or I'm, if you have another track that you think is the pinnacle of sim, yeah. post that. Yep, same. Post that or write it in the comments what you guys think it is and we'll check it out. I know there's a few of you guys that have already posted some tracks that we should try. Um, so we're going to try that as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you guys hit leave a like. Hit uh, the sub button as well. Thank you guys so much for the 12,000. We just hit that yesterday. So I appreciate you guys for real. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you everybody in this Discord call for joining me on this race. And shout out to Spies as well. He's in here. So big shout out to everybody. Much love, guys. I'm out. Peace.